The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to ignite and adjust the flame of your Bunsen burner. You start by taking your gas striker out of your drawer. The gas striker consists of a cap with a gray dated bar. One of the handles connected to the cap is permanently welded. The other handle has a piece of flint. What you need to do is run the piece of flint over the gray dated bar until you get a spark. To turn on the Bunsen burner, the gas nozzle at this point should be perpendicular. The handle should be perpendicular to the nozzle. That's the off position. Connecting the gas nozzle to the Bunsen burner is a piece of Teflon tubing. To turn the gas on, you turn the handle so it's running in the same direction as the nozzle and you immediately ignite the flame. You want a flame that's blue in color with minimal hissing and minimal yellow color. To adjust the oxygen going through the flame of the Bunsen burner, there is a wheel at the base. If you turn the wheel clockwise, the oxygen going through the Bunsen burner is increased. The flame gets much higher. There's hissing, there's more yellow color. You want the flame of the Bunsen burner to be a medium height with minimal hissing and minimal yellow color. To reduce the oxygen going through the Bunsen burner, you rotate the wheel in a counterclockwise position. And the height of this flame would be perfect for your experiments. To turn off your Bunsen burner, you take the handle and you move it so that it's running perpendicular to the handle, to the nozzle of the gas.